Hello again, guys. This is Hans again from Repromed. I wanted to have a little chat with you about um, about the COVID-19, the coronavirus, the pandemic that's happening. Why are we worried about it uh, when it comes to pregnancy? Why have we been um, recommended by fertility societies to stop treatments? Uh, look, the main the main reasons are lack of data. Okay, this is a new virus. This is a virus we don't know much about. We are extrapolating information we had from two previous pandemics from the same family of viruses, like the SARS and the MERS, uh, in which cases we did see an increase in risks during pregnancies, although this has not been seen with COVID-19. Okay, this um, this information is based on very, very, very small amount of data. Okay, we still need to gather more data to be sure of these recommendations. There is very limited amount, but until what we know, COVID-19 does not seem to increase the risks of miscarriages. It also does not seem to increase the complications during pregnancy, and pregnant women do not seem to be at high risks of having severe infections. <clears throat> There has been studies done on semen, on follicular fluid, on eggs, on sperm. It has been done on placenta. It has been done on nasopharyngeal secretions of the babies born from mothers with coronavirus. And this virus has not been isolated. There doesn't seem to be a vertical transmission from mom to child. So then why have we stopped doing treatments? The recommendations came essentially from the fertility societies, and they were quite reasonable. Pregnancies will increase the stress on the health system. And at this moment, our health systems are under a lot of pressure. Okay, there can be complications during pregnancy that will require hospitalization, and those beds might not be available for you. And also, you might be taking the beds available for patients with severe COVID-19 that might need those beds more urgently. So just to reduce the stress on the health system, it seemed reasonable to ask fertility clinics to stop getting women, women pregnant. The other logical reason was is there are certain situations, even though pregnancy is not a risk factor for severe infections, if you get a severe infection, there are certain medications that would not be able to be used during pregnancies. So that is another very sensible recommendation. Maybe reduce the amount of women pregnant for at least amount of period of time to allow us to gather more data on the effects of this virus in pregnancy. Uh, there are still mixed opinions. For example, the Fertility Providers Alliance in the U.S., has been um, having discussions with the American Society of Reproductive Health because they consider that these fertility treatments are urgent, are essential. And the fact that they say it's urgent is because probably age is a factor that is important in fertility. I want to address this, this issue too. Age is important. Um, I don't want you to have the feeling that you're about to fall out of the cliff either. Fertility drops with age. The drop is progressive. But since we also don't want our patients to have that extra stress on their back now today in these days of coronavirus, we will resume treatments quite soon. Maybe, maybe in three, four, six weeks, we still depend. We still wait for the government's official um, publication of certain guidelines. Uh, but the idea will be, let's do treatments, let's get eggs, let's form embryos, but let's freeze those embryos. We don't think we will be resuming pregnancies just yet until we gather more data. But remember, once the embryos are frozen, time is also frozen. And frozen embryos nowadays are as good, if not better, than fresh embryos. As soon as we get the green light from the government, we will reopen, we will start testing again, and we will start doing all the treatments that require formation of embryos or freezing of eggs. We will not get women pregnant yet until we get the green light from the fertility societies.
We just think it is sensible. We just think that we always need to look for what's best for our patients and what's best for our health system and what's best for our society. If you have any questions, once again, please send them over. I'll try to address them in our next vlog. You have a beautiful day, guys. Take these days for introspection, as I always say. Meditate. Love each other. Um, work on your diets. Do some exercise. And we'll see you soon, okay? Have a beautiful day.